So you're in the midst of being interviewed. You've done your homework and everything is going really well. And then the reporter asks you a question that is out of left field. Like most people, you start to ramble. You try to talk your way through it or around it and you look evasive in the process. Why does this happen? What can you do about it? Well, I suggest you take a page from seven-time welterweight world kickboxing champion Mark Osias, who learned how to duck a punch. Whereas I used to draw on the floor the square, you know, and I put one foot on the, and I put one foot on the square, and I put my helmet on, my mop is on, and I have my gloves on, and the idea is you know, I used to get somebody just to punch me, you know, as much as they could, you know, as hard as they could, and uh, my job was only to avoid getting hit. So, and I get in front of, of, of the person in front of me, and I just move, back, make a miss, turn this way. But I could never get my foot out of the square. And that was the whole point of it. So I learned, you know, by that, to see or, and understand how the mechanics of the body works. I could tell, I could anticipate the movement of the other person before it actually happened. In an interview, it's called bridging. So we talk about a technique called bridging in an interview, which is the fine art of uh, moving away from answering a very difficult question that you don't want to dwell on into a key message that you want to deliver. And the bridging technique is really to acknowledge the question, but then get to where I need to go with the messaging that I've come to deliver. And, and probably one that I would, would use quite comfortably would be good question, but I think the most important thing people need to know is and then go where I want to go. And that's really it. On the surface, it's pretty straightforward. In practice, well, that's just it. Like anything else you do with the media, bridging is something that you've got to practice because the way in which you switch from the topic the reporter wants to talk about to the one you want to talk about makes all the difference in the world. Trying to bridge on camera for the first time is usually a disaster. So I suggest practicing at home, at the office, at dinner parties, on the elevator. Whenever you're asked a question, practice not answering in a way that the person who asked you the question forgets what they asked. Bridging means when you have a question asked of you and you try and take the answer back to your message box. So you don't want to be completely, that's a stupid question, let me tell you what's really going on. That's not bridging, that's insulting. You know, my fantasy bridges bridging statement is no you're absolutely wrong and this is the facts but that doesn't work very well uh, I think I have a tendency to lean on s trying to position myself as consensus building and what I normally would do in a situation where I'm confronted by a question I don't like and I want to bridge and so on I would say basically well what I think is important for everyone to know it's a valuable, valuable skill when, when you can do it comfortably and respectfully with your audience. So bridging done well is sometimes not even noticed by the reporter or the viewer. Oftentimes that means acknowledging the question in some way, but then, rather than addressing it, moving on to your agenda as seamlessly as possible. It's not ever about avoiding a question because the media know when you're doing that. It's about being responsible with the response that you're giving. I think the one that I use most naturally, because I believe it when I say it, is I think what's really important to remember here, or I think what's really important to take into consideration, because in that case I've been asked a question that I don't, that I think there is really something more important to consider. It's sort of like tacking and sailing. You sort of, you have to, you can't go directly against the wind, so you have to go around it and use the wind in a way so you get back to your message box, which is what the goal is all the time. And we see that with politicians and other leaders on TV all the time. When I was asked a pointed question that I wasn't going to be able to get into for a number of reasons, my response was, I think I see what your point is, or I think I see where you're going with this, but it looks different to us. Here's why.